This morning, state lawmakers killed a controversial measure that limits college scholarships for degrees the state deems unlikely to lead to employment. Yeah, some see this as a victory, but there's still concern about the underlying Bright Futures bill. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders tonight covering this angle. Earlier today, lawmakers stripped SB 86 of its most disputed measure. Plans to create a list of majors with poor job prospects, then limiting bright future scholarships for anyone on that list. He Su So is feeling heard. Limiting like what majors can or cannot be funded is just very un-American. After working to kill the Bright Futures bill with an online petition getting more than 100,000 signatures, the Florida high schooler and future history major had some success. I think so, yeah. I think we've made a lot of progress. And by your vote. Lawmakers approved big changes to SB 86 Tuesday. The latest version no longer tethers scholarship dollars to job prospects. Students only have to acknowledge a major may not lead to immediate employment. I got well over 2,000 communications. Sponsor Senator Dennis Baxley said he was appreciative of the feedback and still feels the bill could do good. We have a lot of respect for the long-term benefit of our students, and we really are trying to help them get a grip on that. Some still have issues with the measure. There's a lot of concern about the funding. Democrats don't like that Bright Futures no longer promises to pay 75 or 100 percent of student tuition. Lawmakers instead getting to choose with the budget process. It certainly was improved with the amendment, but still not the direction that we st should be moving. The GOP majority overpowered attempts to make changes, saying future legislatures may need the funding flexibility. I'm glad they're finally listening to us. For Hisu, it meant his efforts aren't over yet, as he hopes to keep bright futures from an uncertain one. The bill now heads to its final committee stop before reaching the full Senate floor. It'll also need the House's approval before reaching the governor's desk. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.